Is your time and Barb Baker Chapin and Jennifer Harvey are here from Transitions of Western Illinois talking about child abuse and neglect awareness month. Thanks for coming in and thanks for talking about such an important topic. So Barb, how big of a problem is this locally here in the tri-states? Well, child abuse is a problem in our state. Over 33,000 children every year are found to be abused and neglected in the state of Illinois. And in our county, it's also a problem. Mm -hmm. um, in FY15, fiscal year 15, 255 Adams County children were found to be abused and neglected. The rate of child abuse statewide is about 16.5 children per thousand. And in Adams County, the rate is, um, I'm sorry, I've got a bit, <laughs> 9.7 uh, in the state and 16.5 in Adams County. Oh, wow. So okay. we're about 70% higher than the statewide average. And what constitutes abuse or neglect? Well, it could be that a child has been physically abused uh, or sexually abused. It could be that there's emotional abuse um, in the home, or it could be that the child's just being neglected. Okay. There's inadequate food, there's inadequate supervision, uh, their basic mm -hmm. needs are just not being met. And Jennifer, you're here to talk about one of the first lines of defense. Um, one of the first lines being teachers and educators who see these kids on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. But you guys at Transitions have a program called Birth to Three. Talk yes. about that and, and what the importance is of that in, in, in deciding whether a child has been abused yes. or neglected. Well, in our Birth to Three program, who's, which has been around for almost 40 years, oh, wow. um, we are now called the Parents as Teachers program because mm -hmm. about 10 years ago, we wanted a program that showed that um, the evidence um, and the research has been done so that um, when we go into the family's home, we're providing a curriculum that is um, you know, shown to help produce um, results, including a reduction in child abuse. So we work on child development information, mm -hmm. parenting information, and link families to services they may need. Um, but the overall goal is that we want to support families so that they're not becoming stressed, they're not becoming worried about child development. They have appropriate expectations for their child's development. And in an overall, that all those things help reduce child abuse. In general, what can the general public do then to help kind of curb this problem, especially mm -hmm. here with the numbers higher locally? Well, I think, you know, all of us, you know, have a relationship with children, mm -hmm. even though we may not be parents ourselves. We have neighbor children, we have nieces, nephews. And if you see that, you know, a family is struggling and perhaps a, a parent is struggling, um, you can offer to help. Um, you may offer to take the child and, and care for them for an hour or two while a parent gets some rest or some respite from the demands of, mm -hmm. of caring for their child. Um, so I, I think there are a number of things that people can do to, to reach out and support mm -hmm. families. And then Jennifer, when your uh, employees go out with the, the Parents of Teachers, the Birth of Three programs, they're there, as you mentioned, to kind of help with development and, mm -hmm. and look for any kind of delays, but they also serve as a, as a line of defense. What mm -hmm. else can people look for? Mm -hmm. um, are there physical signs of, and mm -hmm. I specifically say like emotional abuse, where mm -hmm. you can't see mm -hmm. bruises or scratches? There are. There, uh, there are <clears throat> other signs other than, um, you know, a bruise or um, a child that's, you know, um, you know, maybe missing school because they're mm. um, hurt and their parents aren't sending them because they're worried. When we go into a home, we look at emotional um, concerns. So we do what's called an ages and stages social emotional questionnaire. And that, you know, shows things like, are they um, introverted children? Are they scared? Are they not um, doing well around other children? Um, do they have a fear um, of, of new situations? Things that are out of the ordinary for a toddler um, socially. Mm -hmm. um, but we also listen to what parents are saying. Um, they may be talking about, you know, this week I felt really stressed out. You know, um, I sent them to their room more than I usually do, or I raised my voice more often than I usually do. And those are things that, you know, that not typically or not usually a sign of abuse, but it's something we put in the back of our heads, sure. the back of our minds, okay? This is something we need to be aware of. They're stressed. They are struggling as a parent. Um, and then we help them find ways to maybe um, learn relaxation techniques, reach out to a friend, um, you know, have a plan, reach out to a friend if you feel that way, um, you know, um, 
So we're just a support for families sure. when we feel like and there's a concern. And I think that's important to bring up that if you have any other questions or concerns, reach out to Transitions of, of Western Illinois. Mm -hmm. And Jennifer Harvey there kind of runs the program. So mm -hmm. it's a free service free that service. you can do. And just know that there are options out there. Exactly. Thanks so much again for coming in sure. and raising Thank awareness you. for such an important topic. And April is Child Abuse and Neglect Awareness.